Hey, how you doing, Vice Captain? Mind if I take a seat? Relax, I'm not gonna get all flirty with you. Gil told me what happened during the mission out in the wastes. About the red rain and you jumping into a beat-up Godark soldier to go save your friend? It's crazy. <laughs> you take everything in stride. That's nice. Look, I... I came to talk about Gil. I'm betting he hasn't said much about himself. Huh? Plus, I bet you're aching to know what happened back in Scotland. <laughs> Thought so. Now then, where to start? The Glasgow branch is small. I mean, like, tiny. There were only three God Eaters stationed there. Gil and I, of course, and the third was our team's captain. Her name was Kate. Kate Lawry. She, uh... She was my fiancée. There weren't a ton of origami attacks out there, so the three of us managed just fine most days. A routine mission came up on the board and... Well, it should have been routine. I'm gonna be straight with you. This is about to get kind of heavy. Do you want me to keep going? Okay, well... <sighs> During that operation, Gil was forced into a really bad position. He... He had to kill Kate. There was no other option. He was found not guilty at the tribunal, but... People still talk, you know? That's where he got his little nickname. Fragging Gill. Cowards. As if any of them had the right to call him that. As if they had the right to blame him. Anyways, back to the story. We played the fight like normal. Kate and Gill paired up as the advance and I circled around the flank. That's when it appeared. Armlet, it's corroding. I'll be fine. Gil, you have to get out of here, all right? Leave this monster to me. I'll hold it back.
so sorry. It's too... too corroded. It's almost dust, Gil. The origami infection has already begun. I can feel it. Gil... You... you know you have to... do it. I won't! We... we can still get back. I, I don't... I don't think so. Gil... I'm sorry. You have to tell him. Look... No... Don't make me... I'm sorry. I know I'm... I'm just being selfish. I never meant to... meant to leave you. You have to do this, Gil. I don't want to hurt you. I won't let myself hurt you. Please, Gil. I, I'm begging you. Do it. C kill me. I made it there. It was too late. Kate was already long gone. Blood stained the ground. The fabric of her clothes crushed deep into the dirt and the stone. Gil was clutching her armlet to his chest. He, he wouldn't look at me. He, he was crying. Sorry to be so dark. <sighs> That's enough for today, yeah? You're a good listener, you know? With such a serious look, it's easy to open up. <laughs> yeah. Maybe Gil can see that honesty in your eyes. You know? Maybe. It even reminds him of Kate. Well, enough of that, right? Today was pretty good. Let's have another drink sometime. See ya.